over in Spain. We talk about rail, the union there for rail workers calling for a strike next Friday. The government wants to privatize part of the railroad to raise money, but the workers are angry. Rory Ruttenberg reports from Barcelona. The local train station at Malgrat de Mar has been refurbished. So have the tracks. But Spain's state-run rail network is still suffering from the same old problems, efficiently getting people around in a cost-effective way. The central government in Madrid is hoping to change that, reviewing a proposal that would see some operations opened to private competition. Many of Spain's trains run nearly empty of passengers, and 176 stations and stops across the country are said to receive an average of just one passenger per day. Behind me are the tracks that run from Barcelona to Mataró, some 30 kilometers away. This was the first train tracks put in place in Spain. And if the government's proposal goes ahead, they could see private trains running here. Well, that might bring some additional revenue for the government, but it's left some people angry. Every time a liberalization process happened in Europe, not only did the workers lose out, but also the passengers, who received less security, paid higher prices, and had to deal with less frequent trains. In short, worse quality. From Barcelona's busiest station, a high-speed train to Zaragoza takes 1.5 hours. But to Valencia, measurably a few kilometers further, but along the coast, it'll take twice as long, highlighting the problem of a multi-million dollar rail network that is primarily linked through one place, the capital. The government in Madrid wants that change too. It's hoping to expand high-speed connectivity between the regional capitals. But that'll involve turning to private firms and more investment in a network that's efficiency many have grown increasingly suspicious of. But some are hoping that it's this liberalization of Spain's rail industry that may help get the country's derailed economy partially back on track. Roe Ruttenberg, CCTV, Barcelona.